I got a little confession to make. So I've been showing you the plotters if it's a totally finished project, but I've been hiding the mess of cables that's been hanging behind it. And the thing is, I don't want to be plotting anymore next year, but I cannot leave the mess of cables as it is. Now I have some ideas on what I want to do, but I don't really have the skills to do it. And it's already December, so I'm totally running out of time. Fuck. So there's two things I want to do to sort this mess out. Number one is reducing and organizing the cable. And for that, I want to create a custom PCB. Do I know how to do that? Of course not. This is where my boy Philip comes to the rest. This guy got his own robotics startup doing exoskeletons and shit. And he's currently interning at the European Space Agency. Real G thing, you get me. So make sure to get those job offers ready. So now that I got hold of the best of the best to design a PCB for my plotter, let's quickly talk about design. So in the beginning, I knew I had to control two stepper motors, these guys right here. And for that, I wanted to use an Arduino with a shield on top, but that doesn't leave me enough connections for the rest of the electronics. So I switched to this guy, but unfortunately, there's no board for this guy. And that's where my boy Philip comes in. Essentially, he designed this board right here. This one allows the ESP to connect to the motors and all of the other electronics. In addition to the initial design, I added a Raspberry Pi. That's where the backend runs. And I wrote that in Python. Whoa, 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 Python backend on a Raspberry Pi, isn't that super slow? Maybe if you wrote it. And after a lot of babysitting, he let me do the traces on my own, which as you can see, turned out, ah. Anyway, I got the thing manufactured. I used a black PCB color to match with the rest of my room. It's got some cool branding on it. I'd say that's pretty cool, huh? Anyway, I got everything soldered up and connected. The Raspberry Pi talks to the ESP directly over the board. Another cool feature of the board, and I actually did this part myself, is that it supports multiple stepper motor drivers. And that means it allows you to use this cheap driver and this even cheaper driver to move the motors. With the polar plotter turned on, I always have access to this web UI because the Raspberry Pi is connected to my Wi-Fi. And with this web UI, I can control the plotter. And ta-da, the plotter is moving. I can't believe this actually worked on the first try. Cause usually the integration never works smoothly. Yeah, about that. This guy stopped responding. Ah, wrong direction. Fuck. Easy reset. I ended up frying all of these guys. Yeah, this just happened. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are not done. The PCB is cool and all, but yeah, the, the cabling situation did not improve that much. This guy still needs to get power somehow. And with the current design, it's this big box. And it's gonna stay like that. The good thing is that it has three outputs, one for the Raspberry Pi, another one for the ESP, and another one for the motors and encoders. To power it, I put these converters in the middle, but the PCB is still floating in the air, and that's not a good look. So I designed a box, just a box, nothing special. The idea is I can attach it to my desk, slide in the electronics, have a single cable to power everything at once. So put the polar scale your v1 lettering on top and i even use the mr beast font i don't know it's a really cool font all these pieces are pretty big so they take a long time to print the mainframe was the most important thing to get right and after failing to level the bed like over 10 times it finally started printing at night and when i woke up the next day i noticed it was peeling off the table it did recover nicely and was already 10 hours in so i just let it be the other parts also got printed after a few attempts of adjusting the tolerances Whew. and there we go not too shabby the fastening system is also made out of 3d printed parts with some screws that worked out pretty well i would say as a final touch i really wanted to paint the lettering black to match the rest of the theme of my studio slash office slash maker space I didn't do any research on what paint to use. I just went with nail polish. Also, because I was kind of rushing it, I was painting outside of the edges of the lettering. And by trying to clean it off, I spread it around even more. So how do you get rid of nail polish? I thought acetone would be a good idea. Turns out acetone reacts with the plastic and makes it go white. So at this point, I was completely ruining the final product. It does look dirty. It doesn't look super nice. Even though there was very little time left, I needed a way to compensate for this awful mess. Now, what I came up with is just print out the letters in 3D. So I took out my black filament, replaced it, printed out the lettering, used a bit more hot glue. You know, the more hot glue, the more DIY it is. And to be honest, I'm pretty satisfied with the result. And now that the box is built, it's time for the grand finale. Except it wasn't. So I had to disassemble this board and after reassembling it, this guy stopped responding. Um, I got a couple more of these, so we should be good. I ended up frying all of these guys. Turns out I really don't know enough about this shit. So only three days till I leave for Portugal. I need to call my boy Philip and figure out this issue. Philip Hannes joins the chat. Took us about two hours of remote debugging. Turns out I had misconnected some things and due to a design flaw in the board, it would try the ESP. 
anyway now equipped with the knowledge of where i fucked up i ordered three more esps next day delivery got the board reconnected and correctly this time and i gave it a go now for the final moment let's see if this actually works so we are expecting some lights to come up and hopefully no smoke three two one no smoke all right i think it did its thing the raspberry pi is there and is blinking the esp is there and is blinking now i can finally draw something whenever i want And I couldn't leave Philip without a piece of the action. <laughs> Perfect. I'm really happy I got this project fully done. Kind of done with plotting for a good while. 2024 will be full of next level projects. At this point, if you're not subscribed, you're missing out. So hit the sub thingy. And with that, merry whatever holiday you're celebrating. Happy New Year. And I see you in the next year. Peace out.